Uh, hey guys, this is Christy and this is my first video for the NVS Ush class. Today I want to talk about the things that I get from recent classes. Well, basically today I want to talk about my thoughts of sometimes people think they do know something really well and they come with some ideas and judgments, but actually they know nothing about it. Um, the first example is homosexual. People cannot choose their parents' living environments when they were born, but they can definitely choose the way they want to live, including sexual orientation. Um, although there are not so many homosexual people in China compared to the people in the U.S., but I know that there are a lot of problems about how people treat them. Um, homosexual people are a kind that um, needs special protection. From the video that we have watched in class, we can see that there are a lot of anti-homosexual people. These anti-homosexual people really do a lot of things to threaten homosexual people's mental and even personal safeties. Um, I think that a lot of anti-homosexual people, um, they judge homosexual people from their external appearance or actions, but they know nothing about homosexuals' inside uh, personalities. The standard of a person is not based on their sexual orientation, but it should be based on uh, the person's characteristics. So if a homosexual person is nice, honest, hardworking, and he has great contribution to the society and he's helpful to others, he deserves a lot of respect. Um, so I hope those anti-homosexual people can really think about whether they actually know about um, homosexual people and the standard of a person that should get respect from others. Um, second, um, I was talking to someone about Confucius on Friday and I think the conversation kind of related to the topic. Um, the one I was talking with, he said that the action that people are now studying the ideas from Confucius is really stupid and useless because Confucius was a man existing more than 2,000 years ago. Um, Confucius' ideologies were useful to the generation and the society before 2,000 years, but the world has developed and Confucius' ideologies were so old. Um, if modern people learn his ideas now, it's gonna make the developing speed of the world slower. But then I asked him, could you, could you pick any words or sentences or ideas from the analects of Confucius that you think is wrong or useless to modern society? After about 30 seconds, he could not even come out a word from the analects of Confucius. Then I thought, um, he could not even tell what were the ideas of Confucius. How how can he came out the ideas that um, Confucius was wrong or his ideas are useless to the modern society? Um, it really doesn't make sense. I can list some ideas of Confucius like students should have passion in study and people should have respects to others and also all of, uh, all of us should be uh, should contain a grateful heart to our parents. So are these ideas wrong or useless to the modern society? No, because the basic standards of a good person never changed. So um, from this example, I want to talk about that. Sometimes people make judgment without knowing the fact. They come up with those ideas with some rumors and also others wrong actions and opinions. So please do not easily make judgment of something or someone because judgment will not always make you look intellectual, but sometimes judgment will make you look really stupid. And um, the third example is about Reagan economics. I think the reason that Reagan economics fell 
Also, a lot of other plan fell because the person who came out with the idea didn't really consider a lot of details. Maybe the idea that first exists in his head, he thinks it's gonna really works well, but the real world has a lot of limited conditions. If an idea is nice, but it is not considered with all the details and influences, it is going to cause a bad result. So all the ideas and judgments need to be considered well with actually knowing the fact. Thank you.